I'm here tonight to expose a top secret invisible force that's manipulating you. Every minute of your life, it's there. Even when you're asleep, it's nudging your thoughts, your emotions, your behaviors. It influences what you eat, what you buy, who you love, and what you're afraid of. It's at your house, it's at your job, it's in your car. It even followed you here tonight. In fact, it's right in front of you and you don't even know it. But if you try really hard, you might be able to see your nose. Tonight I want to talk about how our sense of smell affects us every day and how a groundbreaking new scent technology can change the way that we interact with each other and the world. But first, I want to talk about a little conspiracy that your nose has been in on. You probably haven't heard of it, the Great Laundry Conspiracy. I bet about half of this room uses Tide laundry detergent. Now, I wasn't snooping around your laundry room, it's okay, but it's statistically about half of us use Tide laundry detergent. Why? There's hundreds and hundreds of other brands. Tide isn't the cheapest one. There's no evidence that it cleans clothes any better. So why Tide? Well, decades ago, Tide knew something that nobody else did. They understood the power of scent. While all the other brands were claiming whiter whites and brighter colors, Tide did something unique. They actually went into people's homes and watched them do their laundry. And you know what the first thing that people do when they pull their clothes from the dryer or off the line? Smell them, yes. So what did Tide do? They scented their laundry detergent with flowers and citrus and musk. And now, when people think about the smell of clean, they're likely thinking about the smell of Tide. Now that may seem a little insignificant, but they did something amazing conceptually. They added scent to an everyday experience and fundamentally changed the way an entire culture thinks and behaves. Now imagine if we could harness that power and instead of selling products, use it for a greater meaning. What if we could use it to capture a memory, make more meaningful connections with one another, or even save lives? Well, at my company, I'm striving to fulfill that vision. I am combining our oldest and most primal sense with today's most promising technology to create a virtual world that's as rich, authentic, and meaningful as our own. And I call it olfactory virtual reality. Now, our sense of smell might be our oldest, most misunderstood and undervalued one of our senses, but it holds the key to a better future. In the future, speaking of future, we will not take photographs, we will capture memories. This is a picture of me hiking a few years ago. Now for all of you, this is just a boring picture. But for me, actually it's kind of a boring picture for me too. However, anytime I catch a whiff of forest, I am instantly transported right back there to that moment. And I bet all of you have sent memories just like this, walking down the street and you catch a whiff of perfume or grandma's cookies or fresh cut grass and bam, you were right back there in that moment. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could capture and bottle those moments for you to revisit anytime you want or share them with someone you love? It's not science fiction, it's possible. In fact, with me tonight, I have a memory in a bottle. It's that memory right there. Now, this is not a perfume. It's not a scent inspired by the forest. This is molecule for molecule that moment. And I know that because I went back there and I captured it with science. <laughs> now every one of you has a vial just like this in your hands and I know it says don't open, but I can already smell that some of you are rule breakers maybe. <laughs> and that's fine. But now all of us together open these vials and gently inhale the memory. If you feel comfortable closing your eyes, you can picture the bright green fir trees, the dark black spruce, wet ferns, damp earth. Now, by sharing this memory with you, incredibly, it's not mine alone anymore. It's all of ours. And anytime you smell this vial, you will be instantly transported right back here to this moment with me, for better or worse. See, our sense of smell is the only one of our senses with a direct link to the memory and emotion section of our brain, the limbic system. 
Every time you have an experience, it's inextricably linked to the smell of that moment and stored in the memory banks that make us who we are. And our sense of smell, more than any other sense, has the ability to not only recall the memory, but the feeling and the emotion of that memory. Our sense of smell also dictates who we love. In fact, your nose invented kissing. It's true. It turns out that we subconsciously select sexual and romantic partners based on their immune system. Someone with a complementary immune system to our own is likely a good pair. But how can you tell what someone's immune system looks like? Well, you can't really, but your nose can. Every single one of us has a unique odor signature. And it says volumes of information about who we are, including a map of our immune system. So when you kiss someone, you're actually sampling their immune system to decide whether it's a good match. <laughs> Speaking of matches, in 2014, 57 million people swiped right or left over a billion times every day, looking for love on one of the many dating apps out there. Now why, if technology allows us to contact so many people so easily and quickly, why is it so hard for us to find meaningful connection? I think that when we neglect our sense of smell and our digital interactions, they will always be unfulfilling. But the same way we can capture the smell of my moment in the forest, we can capture our own odor signatures and attach them to our digital ones. Imagine instead of swiping right endlessly or filling out dating profiles, you could virtually kiss someone before ever meeting them and really know if that's a good match. I think there'd be a lot fewer awkward first dates. But your odor signature doesn't stop at dating. It's also how mothers and babies recognize each other after birth. And that's why we feel so comfortable with our friends and family. Their familiar odor signatures signal comfort and safety. Now I believe if things like our email address, our phone number, our picture, our dating profile, virtual avatar, painted a more complete picture of who we really were, one that engaged our sense of smell, then our digital interactions would be as rich, authentic, and meaningful as our real ones. Now, I think that's pretty cool, but the most amazing thing I've ever seen your nose do is help someone who's in pain. This is Justin. Justin's not his real name, but he's a real person, and he's a veteran of war. He suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Anytime he catches even the slightest whiff of diesel fuel, he is instantly transported back into a bloody war zone. And with that memory comes overwhelming feelings of guilt, terror, pain, and nausea. Like 25 million other Americans like him, he is nearly paralyzed by his trauma. But OVR can help. It turns out that it's an amazing tool for exposure therapy. In a safe, controlled virtual environment, a clinician allows Justin to revisit and reprocess the difficult trauma. Over time, the trigger is removed, and Justin can lead a perfectly normal life. How long does something like this take? The University of Central Florida has a program right now that's a three-week intensive program for some of the most horrific cases of PTSD. At the end of those three weeks, over 66% of patients walk away symptom-free, most without ever having to touch a drug. And that is incredible. Now, we are all constantly experiencing scent moments like this that define who we are. Some very small, some are truly life-changing. Before humans walked upright and vision became our dominant sense, our sense of smell was the only way that we understood the world around us. It's how we found food, how we found water, how we found sex. It's how we avoided threats and danger. Yet, statistically, today, more than half of us would rather give up our sense of smell than our smartphone. That's unsettling. When we watch TV or interact with a device, we expect color and we expect sound, but why not scent? It hasn't been possible before, but because of this technology, it is possible now. And because of technology, we live in a magical time where we get to design our future one day and experience it the next. But we have to be careful we can easily engineer a future lacking the things that make us most human. So when we decide what tomorrow looks like, I ask that we collectively embrace our forgotten fifth sense and design a future rich 
with memory, emotion, experience, and of course, scent. Thank you.